welcome back to my channel I'm Jessica and today I have my final update for the girls night in the dirty dozen this is a collab that I do with my bestie Amanda where we picked classic movies 12 of them and we picked products to pan for the year this started on January 22nd and my finale will be on January 21st so it will be exactly one full year um then <laughs> Then we will be doing another version of Girls Night In. It will have a different theme and we will have all different products. We don't know how many products yet. Well, like we know, but we're not telling you guys yet. Um, so be on the lookout for that. It'll be like mid to late January because we don't want to conflict with all of the other like Fantastic Ladies collabs kind of stuff. So, you know, we, we try to make, we spread it out. That's what we're trying to spread the love and you know not make it so crazy anyway i have empties i have empties and i'm so excited that i have empties i have five empties this update crazy i know but let's get started the first one is for the classic movie gone with the wind it is by far one of my favorites i like all of these movies but some of them are just near and dear to my heart and gone with the wind is one of those i chose the coastal sense hot pot and peach puff and let me tell you, I already missed this shadow. I love it and I would definitely, in a heartbeat, buy it again when I have like all of my mat, my lighter mats caught up that I can use. I, I just, I really like that one. I also finished, for The Sound of Music, a silver eyeshadow and for Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, a white eyeshadow. Both of those are from the Coastal Scents or not the Coastal Scents, the Sephora Colorista palette. Ugh, I can't think. These are the two pans for that. Um, let's see, for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, I finished another one. It was a chocolate covered eyeshadow, chocolate colored, not covered, chocolate colored eyeshadow. It was like that milk chocolate color. Um, it was like a nice, very light brown and I was able to use that as a transition shade. And for Trouble in Paradise, I had the Coastal Scents Mica Pigment in Paradise Diamond Pearl. I really love this. I was using it on my inner corners on um, like the darker shades that I have left in my Naked 3 palette. I was using them over top and it is gone and I'm sad. Um, this is just, that's what it looked like right there. This is just the container that it, I had it in that I transferred from the baggie to this and that's how I was storing it. But um, I had it in a pan similar to this one from Peach Puff, but it already has a new pigment pressed into that pan so you know I'm recycling and reusing my pans so I can't even show you that pan anymore but this is the empty packaging from that so let me put that back in my empties bin for the month um I have finished of the 12 so far I have finished 10 so I have two more I'm going to show them to you the first one I don't think I'm going to finish there's no way I can finish this one. It's just going to be impossible because it's baked. It is the Elf Moonlight Pearls for the movie Paper Moon. I have made significant progress in it, but baked products do not go very far very fast. There's like a crater in there, and I don't know how far I am from hitting pan, or I don't know. I've never panned a baked product before. That one's taking forever. And the other one is for Wizard of Oz, which I absolutely love. I, I watched this every single year growing up and I chose the Bare Minerals Oz eyeshadow. I pressed it into this pan right here and I have its label right here on the back. I just love this shade. And as you can see, I had to repress it because it was all around the outside and that is what I have left. I have this on my eyes today underneath my lower lash line here and I love it. I just love this shade. I wasn't so sure when I first started painting this if I was going to be able to make it work because it's a cooler green and I usually gravitate more towards the warmer greens 
but I'm really liking this. I've used it on my lips. I use it on my lids. I use it on my lower lash line frequently and I'm enjoying it. It pairs nicely with the Zion Vistas from Coastal Scents, which of course they don't make anymore, but they really look nice together because the Zion Vistas is gold with that kind of a green duochrome to it. So they just, they work together. That's what I have on my lids today. Um, and I'm loving it. I am loving it. I hope that I can finish this in the next month. This, this video is going up a few days earlier than normal because of like the hectic schedule in December, trying to get all the finales done. But I don't know. I don't know if I can finish this. I'm going to try. And I think if I use it as frequently as I've been using it this past month, I think I can do it. But not going to happen with this one. It is that will still be there on the finale and it'll probably look exactly the same, even though I use it every single day. Baked products just don't go anywhere. Anyway, that is my update. Amanda is going to be linked down below and her beautiful face will be at the end. If you want to just click on her picture, it will take you right to her channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.